I'm going to demonstrate the spot check. This one is powered up and the light in the middle is steady, is constantly on. The first thing I'm going to show you is to apply the silicon grease to the face of the probe. Squeeze out a tiny amount, two millimeters of grease is enough for the coupling. Place that onto the center of the probe and we now have uh, three empty tanks. I'm going to show you what happens when I fit them. This one has five millimeter wall thickness and if you watch the amber light in the middle of the, the spot check it's begun flashing. I'll count, I'll, to indicate the rate I'll count them off. One, two, three. Okay, quite slow flashing on that one. This is a two millimeter tank. The rate will be different. Uh, and one, two, three, four. So faster, faster rate of flashing on that one. This is the tank we're going to use to set up the mounting bracket on, which we will fit on, onto there. The first thing to make sure is that it is go we're going to work on the tank that you want to where you want to permanently mount it and we do that by fitting the spot holding the spot check on now we're going to see a very slow rate of flashing on this tank because this tank has 22 millimeters thick wall one Two. <laughs> right, okay, that, that's a very slow rate of flashing. This is actually slightly too slow. The ideal rate that we want to see is about five seconds. It was quite it was quite good on this tank. I'll just go back to this tank. This is the this is the kind of rate you want to see. And so there we have one, two. So that's that's what that's what we're trying to achieve. However, assuming that we have found we have, we have found a place where the spot check is, is performing properly. Uh, we would then go on to mount the brackets to the tank. Uh, the first thing to do is to make sure that the surface is clean. And uh, there are two processes we can go with. One is to use a solvent cleaner to uh, make sure there's a, uh, remove all the grease, which will help the, ad the adhesive to stick. And the other is to use some emery paper to roughen the surface which uh, in this tank so that would abrasive paper this will rub all around this area here and um, you would have to do this for quite a while uh, but because uh, this is quite a rusty old tank however um, I'm now going to use the solvent cleaner to clean off the, the dust and the next part is to apply the activator for the adhesive and that just sprays on. There we go, good covering. And I would apply the same to the inside of the bracket. Whoop. Okay, now we have to leave that to dry first. That leaves a small deposit of copper on the, on the surface which helps to activate the polymerize the the glue. So now at this stage we're now going to I'm just going to wait a little longer while it it dries off. Um, to actually mount the spot check on the bracket uh, you need to use a four millimeter Allen key um, or I have a, a little screwdriver with a four millimeter hex driver on it which is quite useful for uh, tightening up the spot checks. So I think that's about ready now. So I'm going to apply the adhesive to this side of the bracket and um, which I'll just it's quite viscous so I'm going to take a minute for it to, to pour out. I am squeezing. Oh gosh. So this is going to take a while. I'm going to I'm going to chop the end off this glue uh, nozzle. Um, 
and all right, there we go. So I know making sure I'm just spreading it evenly over the covering the whole surface of the, the bracket right to the corners and now I'm going to attach it onto the, the plate. This is where we want it to to sit and again I'm pressing pressing in and uh, just moving it slightly around to squeeze a nice flat thin layer of adhesive and if I just hold this here for about a minute then that will be enough to for it to stay in position itself. Now the full the, the full curing time takes 24 hours uh, for full hardness but um, it will actually I'm just wiping off some of the excess adhesive so we now have oh, some of the adhesive has actually come through the there are little slots in the in the bracket if you have a curved tank you can slightly bend the bracket to help to uh, to match so as it matches the the, the tank um, and that gives a pretty strong adhesive even though, even after only a couple of minutes I can probably get away with with mounting the spot check on that so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to clean I'll clean off the old couplant that I'd used and I'll reapply some fresh couplant to this again remember that's about two millimeters worth of of the coupling then The spot check fits in between there and pressing the spot check into the tank and this is a slightly tricky but tighten both sides of the right and we should have that slow rate of flashing now because this is a 22 millimeter tank which is normally that would be we'd specify a different type of spot check for this we have a special thick type spot check which is for more than 10 millimeters um, however I can I think I can make this work by um, changing the, changing the gain on on the board which I can just <sighs> I can just do um, yeah, here we are. So I've made a slight alteration to the the spot check. Now this should change. The flashing rate is now almost five once every five seconds. This is new. This is almost the ideal flashing rate. Um, so now I'm going to press the calibrate button on the spot check, which is just a small button in here. I'm using using the long leg of my Allen key just to click that. You see it flash now. It'll be hard for you to pick this up, but this is now flashing in the green, the green state. Now, I've um, I've wired up my my meter to the spot check, which I just wired in here, so that when it, the spot check changes state, it should make a, a beeping sound. So this tank is is empty, and I'm now going to I'm now going to fill it with water from this bucket. Ah, and the beeping noise indicates that the spot check is working. And okay, so let's have a look inside the spot check. There are two terminal blocks. This one is for the power input. And the actual polarity is marked on the PCB. So there's a 24 volts and a 0 volts line. The three terminal block is for the relay. The center terminal is for the common terminal. And you have normally open and normally closed options. Uh, if I remove that, you'll see just beneath that terminal there is the small, the small dot. That is the calibration button, which you have to press when when the spot check is is mounted on the tank and uh, ready for calibration. All around the board there are jumper settings, but these have been set to suit your applications for a thin steel tank, 
and we don't anticipate that you'll have to make any adjustment to those. Okay, that's uh, I think that's everything that you need to know on this.